السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اوکے گائز اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ آرٹیکل اینڈ آئی سرٹنلی فیلٹ آئی آئی شوڈ ڈو اے بلاگ آن دس اٹس اے لاسٹ آرٹ یو نو سیٹلی اینڈ ڈیفینیٹلی ورک فار ریوائونگ ود ان دا مسلم امہ سو آئی مین آئی سرٹنلی ریکمینڈ دیٹ یو گائز ناٹ اونلی ایم شیئر دی بلاگ بٹ ایم آلسو آئی لیو اے لنک ان دا ڈسکرپشن باکس سو بائی آل مینس copy and paste it and share this knowledge and spread this knowledge it's important uh, with what's on the horizon you never know whether the sort of technology that we are so dependent on is going to be available to us in order for us to locate the Qibla as it were and um, traditionally Alhamdulillah um, uh, the, the uh, Qibla uh, when uh, in other locations outside of Arabia the Sahara Ajmin used to uh, look at the stars and um, uh, find the Qibla using the constellations A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem Bismillahi Rahman Rahim Wa Alamatin Wa Bin Najmihum Yahtadun And landmarks and by the stars they are also guided So you're on a road trip and it's time to pray Maghrib and Isha You pull into the rest area and make wudu how do you know which direction to face? Most of us would probably pull out a smartphone <laughs> and use our Qibla app. But there's a much cooler way of finding the Qibla. Before we had smartphones, Muslim sailors and merchants developed the art of re- reading the stars for navigation. If you've never looked up at the sky, you might not have realized that stars don't stay in the same place. As the earth rotates, stars appear to be in different positions except one. Muslim Seuza has called uh, it Al-Qibla and it is found in the constellation they named Al-Raqaba. We know it as the North Star found in the Little Dipper. Once you do this a few times it becomes really easy to spot the North Star and know the Qibla. You'll find it even faster than the times it takes you to open up the app on your smartphone. Plus, you'll get major coolness points for doing this in front of other people. Okay, mashallah. So this is the um, Big Dipper as we know it in the constellation. Most of you must have recognized this, seen this, and will recognize it when you see it as well. Um, okay, step one. Locate the Banat Nash al Kubra, the Big Dipper. Uh, the easiest way to find the North Star is by f- uh, first finding the Big Dipper. This is one of the easiest constellations to find. Look for a large spoon-shaped constellation, three stars in the handle, four stars in the head. See it? There you go. Three stars in the handle, and then four stars in the head. I usually used to call it the pan, um, but I guess it looks like a spoon as well, depending on which uh, way you look at it. Um, anyway, step two. Trace a line to al Qibla, the North Star. Imagine a line that connects the front two stars of the Big Dipper. Okay, so that would be this one, the front two two stars, and this line. Okay, the Big Dipper. If you follow that line, about five times the distance will be the North Star. So five times the distance of those two stars is the first bright star you run into that cl- that's close to this vector. There you go. Okay, so you, we follow the line of the front two stars, go all the way up. It's slightly on an angle from this trajectory uh, to the right. And there you go, that's the North Star. Okay, this is a star being referred to, which we would use, we would use to find out where the Qibla is if we didn't have any other means of finding the Qibla. Okay, step three, uh, trust but verify. You don't want to accidentally be praying in the wrong direction, so make sure that you're actually at the North Star. The North Star is part of the constellation the Muslims called al raqaba or, as we commonly know it, the Little Dipper. The North Star is the last star in the handle. The Little Dipper floats above the Big Dipper as if it is pouring water into the Big Dipper. So this would be the Big Dipper, okay? That would be the North Star. And the Little Dipper is this. You see it? That's the spoon, similar to what we see here before. And this is the handle. And that's the North Star. Here we go. Okay, so there's the North Star. And that's the Little Dipper. This is the Big Dipper. And you always find that the center point 
of the Little Dipper, uh, uh, of the bottom, uh, the base of the uh, the spoon, as it were, right, points directly in the center of the Big Dipper, as though it's pouring water into it, and the first point of the Little Dipper is the North Star. Okay, so here you go. That's the Big Dipper. So on and on. These are the front two lines. Now if we follow it on follow its trajectory on a slight angle, that's a north star. Yeah? And then you see the handle one, two, three, dip, and there you go. Yeah? You see it. And it's just in the center. That's the star dipping over here. You see the dip. Yeah? And you see the handle, and that's a north star. Okay, so again. You've got the Big Dipper, if you follow my cursor, you follow the two front stars of the Dipper, go on an angle, that's the North Star. Yeah? Okay. Now, here you go again, there's the North Star. That's a Big Dipper. And the North Star starts at the uh, handle of the Little Dipper, there's the Little Dipper, there you go. And you see, find that point of the star in the middle, which runs in the center of the Big Dipper. And here's another example again. So Alhamdulillah, you know, just going through these um, uh, uh, these um, uh, examples, uh, you can very easily train yourself to, mashallah, spot the North Star. And you'll be able to do that, inshallah, when you look into the skies outside. Uh, once you know where the North Star is, finding the Qibla is pretty easy. If you're in America, it's northeast. So face the North Star, and it's half a turn to your right, clockwise. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this only works in the northern hemisphere. Okay, if you're in Australia, stay turned. It's tuned for how to find the Qibla in the southern hemisphere. Stay tuned, okay. So if you're in Australia, stay tuned to, uh, for how to find the Qibla in the Southern Hemisphere. So I guess they, they're going to upload another um, a blog on how to find it if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. At any rate, this also applies to anyone living in Europe. So um, we're, you'd be considered as being in the Northern Hemisphere. And um, the same would apply if you were trying to find the Qibla. So please share this article. It's a very useful one, alhamdulillah. And like I said, we don't know what's on the horizon. I've kind of laid things out in the PDF signs. I'll leave that in the description box as well. But I mean, certainly expecting things to change uh, drastically worldwide, uh, whether that would be the economy, um, uh, uh, trade and commerce. Uh, there seems to be an Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the whole Ummah. Uh, 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 World War Three on the horizon, and other uh, climate changes. Uh, so um, uh, this sort of knowledge is certainly something to be um, had, uh, learnt, taught, and uh, spread amongst our Muslim brethren. Mashallah. So may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala accept it of all of us. Jazakallah khairan wa sunnah jazakum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.